Hi guys, so actually I got this delivered a few days ago. It was the Today Special on HSN um, a week or so ago. I don't know, but I've had it for a while. <laughs> it got delivered last weekend and I just keep forgetting to open it up. Uh, so any links I have in the description box are affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. And I hope this is it. I'm just, you know what? Is this the right thing? This might be something else. <laughs> I was like, I'm waiting for my polish shoes and I could have sworn this was them, but yeah, no. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, so it's the Deborah Lipman nine piece um, polish set. I think they still have it right now. Again, they have free shipping, I guess, depends when you watch this. Um, and I believe it runs around 45. I think when it was on the Today Special, it was like 40. So I guess with the free shipping, it's almost the same. But um, it does have an auto ship uh, component to it, and I believe you can still sign up for that. So, you know, kind of cool. Um, I love Deborah Lipman polishes. So this is something I used to do back in the day on my old channel a lot. Um, really nice packaging. Again, you know, it's nice for a gift if that's what you want to do. I guess I didn't cut that one very well. Um, so yeah, I was interested to see how the sizing of these, because, you know, on camera, I mean, they look fine. Uh, it looks like it has a larger, I guess, top coat probably, and then the different colors. Now these colors are very kind of basic colors, right? So we have white and the pink and the little deeper pink there um, for your French manicures, basically. We have a I think this is one of her classic red colors here. I'll talk about them in just a minute. And then another set of, you know, pinks and varying colors. And I love pinks and red. So this was right at my alley. The auto ship is going to have different ones. I do not recall right now. I don't even think I saw what the auto ship was going to be. But I did sign up for that because I like that kind of thing. So really pretty packaging. And I suppose if you wanted these as stocking stuffers, you know, each little set would be its own little thing. So pretty, though. Let me open this up. And we'll talk about the names. So... We have Like a Virgin, Sarah Smile, and Totally Nude. And again, some people like different colors for their French manicure. You know what? I was going to polish my nails one of these colors, but maybe I should do a French manicure. We haven't done that in a while. Um, we'll see. Okay, and this one here. I have Chasing Rubies, a high and dry uh, top coat, Lady is a Tramp. And I believe both of these are like her classic reds. I don't really recall, but I do have this one already. So, in a larger size. And then we have these little last three. Think pink, pink cashmere, and in the pink. And again, they're all like cream colors. I don't think, other than this one with the shimmer, that's about it. I do want to see if I do a French manicure, if these are translucent. Let me see. I believe they were. And then you can pick whichever colors that you like for a French manicure, right? This one's more pinky. This one has more of a mauve undertone. So yeah, they're definitely French manicure colors. Oh, let me see about this one, though. This one might just be a nude color, yeah. Okay, well, okay, I think it... I don't know, that's interesting. I think this one, the for the French, it's probably just these two. And you know what? Let's try it. Why not? I haven't done a French manicure like I said in a long time. So I'm going to remove the base coat that I have on right now because it's already been chipping. I've been wearing it for a while. Um, and then I'll shape my nails. I always just shape them square. Not always, but right now I have them square. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so again, filed my nails. So with French manicures, the difficulty is, you know, putting them on straight and then all that kind of stuff. So you're just going to decide. Do you want it to have a curve? Do you want to use like those little... Um, strips you can buy. I never really did that. You can just put a piece of tape if you want to just do it straight across. I just kind of look at my nails. <laughs> so I'm going to use the white, obviously, like a virgin here. And I don't want to go too thick to begin with. Never with any polishes, even gel polishes, regular polish. You always want to just build it up. It does still have a nice little manicure brush, um, the flat kind, which I appreciate. And I like to just follow along my natural nail where, you know, where I can see <laughs> It's curving here, right, to my, um, I don't know what you want to call it, <laughs> to where my nail ends there. Okay, and I, you saw what I did. Some people like to kind of come in and do this kind of thing. Okay, if you like that, do that. However it is that you want to get that line on there, again, you can put a piece of tape, you can get um, reinforcements, um, you can use whatever you like. It is very sheer, so I'm probably going to do two coats, which is kind of a bummer because I wanted to, um, get it done because I gotta go pick up the kids in a little bit here but um or Miranda but I'm gonna do that to all the nails let it dry and I'll be right back okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat 
it's drying because like I said, I do it really thin. What I do kind of like about this is that it's very natural looking, so that's cool. So again, the second one's probably easier because you already have a line established and just, you know, darken it up. And if you want to, you can take like a, a Q-tip or like a cosmetic, the little Q-tips that are pointy and put some, um, you know, acetone on it or polish remover and then just kind of fix up your line if your line is crooked. On this other hand, I just want to show you real quickly, actually these are still wet, but I usually just take my brush and I don't, I don't come in here and try to apply it with my non-dominant hand. I'll just hold it down and then move my finger. <laughs> okay, and that's how I get that done. Okay, so I'll do the second coat and I'll be back. So I'm just gonna let this really dry. That's the thing with the French manicure. You have to be very patient. because so when you go in to float the color that, you know, you want to float over that, it could smear the base coat if you, or your base color if you didn't um, let it dry completely. Um, I did not start with a base coat on my nails because all the base coats I have have a French manicure color to them already. It's kind of a beigey undertone. Um, so I just want to start off with nothing. But normally you would put a base coat. If you have a clear one, great. Do that and then do your obviously your white tips and then go on to do the top. And then what I was mentioning before too, if you want to perfect your line, I have this really old <laughs> beat up uh, nail polish remover pen. The stuff that was in there is gone already. I just dip it in some acetone and then I came in and just kind of cleaned it up a little bit just side to side here. And I know it's all crazy colored because obviously I've used it with plenty of different polish colors and that's how I cleaned up that edge so I'm gonna wait be very patient and I'll be back I'm gonna go for it and I hope I don't regret it so um, again this is the uh, Sarah smile now when I do this part I always try to float it over just like if I was doing nail art stamping oh that's another thing if you want to do some nail art stamping or dotting or something cute like that definitely you know you can go for that um, I would do the uh, still do this and then do your stamping on top of that and do your dotting but we can talk about that in a minute so i usually just wipe off my brush a lot a lot a lot but when i do this i want to get quite a bit i'm not wiping it off too much and i want to float it so i'm going to start down here and i'm pushing and just float the color over the tip of the nail so you have less chance of smearing it <laughs> okay and that did take me a couple of tries but there okay and i was just to make sure that it's all colored. So you really want to make sure you cover the whole white area, otherwise it's going to look kind of funky. And try to do it, you know, probably less than three swipes. I try to do it in like, well, three swipes. Maybe two. <laughs> but however you need to do it to get that going. And I'm going to let that dry and I'll be back. Okay, I kind of wanted to wrap it up, but to be honest, it maybe it needs a second coat. So <laughs> I did, you know, I floated it over. It didn't do too thick, so I'm going to do a second coat. But, you know, if you like yours to be kind of just a light, um color on top then do that but other than that I'm gonna do a second coat and I think that just makes it look really nice okay I'll be back okay, so I've been waiting a few minutes um so this is supposed to be a fast drying top coat and it's supposed to help dry the polish underneath too I mean obviously my nails are pretty dry they're not super you know like sticky wet um I suppose it's kind of like uh sesh beat maybe is what they're let me see the thickness on this one it looks nice and thick oh I love that I love a thick top coat okay so again with this if you're gonna do stamping or even just taking a dotting tool and putting cute little dots like in that area where um, you have your French that'd be really cute so I'm gonna put this on oh this is some good stuff right here <laughs> I love a thick top coat and that's it so I'll apply that um, you know like I said if you like a thick French like I have here um, do, do the two coats if you don't do the one coat it looks a lot thinner and um, you know um, less uh, more noticeable, right? The white tips. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll have some pictures. I'll have the links in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now. Just a real quick follow-up. I didn't even turn my lights back on. Um, it dried really fast. I'm not going to go and do things. I'm not going to stick my hand in my purse or grab the keys or anything like that. But that, I'm touching it. And there's no tack to it. Um, and I just finished, you know, doing this hand. So I guess it is pretty fast. All right, guys. I just want to follow up about that. See you at the next one. Bye now.